Okay, you guys, welcome back to Live Your Style. Today we're gonna focus on the bathroom, our very small bathroom. And thanks to Grace Alea Satin Line Caps who sponsored today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I organized but also how I decorated the whole space. And I'll show you a few of my favorite beauty hacks, if you will, that I found and discovered as I was cleaning and organizing that I think you guys might like. Okay, let's get started. Okay, are you guys ready to get started? Let's go check it out. Okay, so keep in mind we're renting, so I can't expand the space, I can't really update a lot of the different fixtures, um, but what I can do is I can paint, I can decorate, and I can use and maximize the space as best as I can. So in here it used to be kind of a yellowy taupe color. We painted it all white and we replaced the shower curtain. Tyler had a shower curtain in here before. It was a little bit too small. And here is a trick that, honestly, Tyler didn't believe me when I said this would actually make the space feel bigger. But when you put your shower curtain all the way up to the ceiling, just like your curtains in your house, and remember when I did that curtain uh, hemming video, a no-sew hemming? Well, you can extend a curtain just the same way by hemming another piece of fabric. I basically got two shower curtains down here, and I know so, it looks like I stitched it, but I didn't, I just ironed the fusing web on it and extended the shower curtain all the way to the ground. So now when you walk in here, it draws your eye up and it feels so much bigger. Guess why they're not? Leave me a comment below if you know. In my old apartment, I had a really small bathroom as well. And the space, you know, I wanted to maximize the space as much as I could. So I did a lot of organization on the walls. Well, the good thing about this apartment is even though it's a freestanding sink, I have a unit here for storage and I have a lot of storage under there. So for the wall space, I didn't want to put a bunch of shelving because sometimes that feels really cluttered in a small area like this. I wanted to keep it white, bright, and inspirational. Like putting something like this on the wall instead. Make today amazing. Simple, to the point, positive. Also, I believe in every room you should try to do some sort of flower or greenery. It can be fake like from Ikea, like this is. It brings color and it brings vibrance and it brings, I don't know, an organic feel to the room, which is always a good thing, I think, especially to the bathroom, you know what I mean? I wanted to keep this really simple and clean. I have pretty little things kind of stored here, which again, it's beautiful, but it's also functional and stores things that I use every single day. I also have these fabulous canisters that are marble. I have three of them and they hold different products. So things I use every day, it's out in the open, but it's disguised. In here, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of how I've been organizing some of these things. Okay, I have my washcloths over on this side. I have my makeup right here, right in this space. Really easy access. All of my makeup items, you know, I have my bronzers, my blushes, my mascaras, any of my foundations over here. I happen to hate uh, those little things where you put your brushes in like a bowl or a cup and the brushes are standing up because then it gets dusty and there's a lot of dust in this old apartment. So I got one of these clear acrylic containers with a lid. So it preserves my brushes. I can keep them clean and fresh and really easy access right there. And this can pull out. I have some more brushes here for my eyeshadows, my foundation brushes, eyeshadow palettes, and then some eyelashes and some extra makeup. Okay, here is a fun trick. This may look like an ordinary pink washcloth. But let me tell you, this thing is magic. This is one of my favorite things. Okay, you just literally add hot water to this cloth. It's like microfiber or something. And you can wipe off all of your makeup, your eyeshadow, your mascara. You don't even need soap. It's literally a miracle. Another really fun thing, remember I mentioned the satin lined caps earlier? Well, Grace Alea created these awesome caps. They have satin on the inside. When I wash my face at night, I put this baby on, and he'll even demonstrate it because why not, they're cute. I put it on before I wash my face, and I take all of my hair, I wrap it up, and I tuck it in, and then I wash my face, because now my hair's out of my face, and I go to bed with it on, and because it's satin lined, it keeps the moisture in, it keeps your hair from getting knotted and kinked, and it's fabulous, and it's like kind of cute, you know, it kind of matches, anyway. It's fabulous, it's one of those things that's really comfortable and it helps the health of your hair because cotton's not good for your hair and most of us have cotton pillowcases, so 
If you wear this at nighttime, it's really great. I'm gonna link that one below. You guys can go to the website and find it. They have a bunch of different products like scrunchies that are satin so you don't damage your hair. They even have hats that are satin lined. It's all about that satin life, you know? Okay, moving on. This is really fun. Okay, when you have a small space like this, it's like a lazy Susan. I have my lotions, all this is all my hair stuff that I use on my hair every night. Um, the, you know, my contacts, all my contacts are so nicely in here, which is really convenient. Okay, these two are things I found that I really want to show you guys too. This one takes off deodorant. So when you put your shirt on or a dress, and you put your deodorant on first, or even if you put it on second and you somehow get deodorant on your shirt, you just, I don't have any on, but you just go like this, and it takes the deodorant off right away. It's crazy, I'm sure most of you have heard about this. But if you haven't somehow, I really want to make sure that you don't live your life not knowing about these things including this one, um, which is like a pumice stone, I think. And when you have like a sweater that's pilling, you just pull it tight and you rub downwards and it actually removes all those little balls on your sweater without having to throw the sweater out and get a new one. So hey, how's that for quick tips? And you may be wondering, isn't she married? Doesn't her husband get to have anything in the bathroom? <laughs> well, it's a good thing that he's simple and doesn't have a lot of items, but he does have something. This is his shaving drawer. He's got all of his razor heads, which to be honest, I don't even know why he needs all of these. I don't think he uses them all, but we put them in there anyway. He's got his two razors, his little handy dandy cheapo razor, in case he needs that for something. Even his beard wax. I mean, who knew that he was so hangman? So proud. So this place is older, right? Usually that means the bathroom is like, eh, eh. Well, can I just say, A, this medicine cabinet I'm about to show you is kind of amazing. B, it has great lights here for makeup. And then right here, I have these two huge windows that when the sun is out, which is every single day, it shines light in. So it's like I have giant light bars here. So the lighting in this room is quite amazing. The acoustics, not so much, but the lighting is fabulous. Okay, so in here is our lovely medicine cabinet. So it's nice because there's a lot, like some tall, really tall spaces. The shelves are really deep and big. I have, you know, my moisturizer, this, if you guys saw that one video I did before the wedding. I keep a little jar of Windex in my bathroom and I put my wedding ring in there. We have our floss and our toothbrush stuff. Tyler needs his shaving cream sometimes. Here's all the products that I basically use uh, morning and night. A variety of different ones. Eminescence is a new organic skincare I've been trying lately. Really am liking it. This is really great facial sunscreen. It's really light, it does the trick. Obviously, you guys know I love rose hip oil and then just a basic moisturizer. Up here is really cool. I got this at IKEA. This is a magnet strip you use to like organize your knives in the kitchen. But the cool thing about this medicine cabinet is the whole back is magnetic. I didn't even know that until like a week ago. So I can put my magnetic strip here and all my bobby pins my nail clippers, my little scissors, and then some tweezers. And then since Tyler's 6'4 and I am 5'6", Tyler gets the top level shelf, although that is mine. His beard oil, he's got some post-shave balm, his hairbrush, so he gets a little shelf up top. Simple, fabulous, does the trick. Okay, one last thing to show you, and then we're out. Okay, so these drawers are kind of bonkers how deep they are, and kind of fabulous. I told you they were deep. Kind of fabulous that they hold so much stuff. So I have our travel bags back here, all of my hair supplies, my curling iron and things like that, and my extensions. Everything's really easy access. I use this stuff every day. Then down below, this is where my obsession with ordering in bulk comes in. It's cheaper, I tell you, you do save money. Facial wipes, toothpaste, Q-tips. Um, I've got all of my contact eye stuff, some band-aids, lots of band-aids. Um, extra deodorant, just all the necessities. You know, everything kind of has its place, everything's kind of organized. Any travel bags that I have are back there as well. And I just like to keep everything neat, organized, and you know, tip top shape. And who remembers this lovely, wonderful piece? This is from that video I did on how to decorate your apartment with artwork. I will link that video below, but I love to reuse this, and this frame literally matches not only this really hideous color light switch, which kind of was funny, but also the fabulous shower curtain behind him. Kind of all came together just perfectly. Oh, and look at this. How cute is this doorknob? So cute. 
Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked my quick little bathroom tour. Everything feels really organized and really clean, crisp and fresh, which is exactly how I wanted our bathroom to turn out. Leave me your comments below and let me know what you guys think of the shower curtain idea. And also if you think the whole clean white, I mean, I didn't use a lot of color in there, but I liked it. I wanna know if you liked it. Okay, if you guys wanna shop any of those products that I mentioned, I'm gonna try my hardest to find them online. I definitely will link those satin lined caps and the satin pillowcases and all that fun stuff if you guys are trying to keep moisture in your hair. Oh, and one last thing. Okay, so the lovely people at Grace Alea, they gave me extras, so I wanna do a giveaway for you guys. There's one satin lined cap, I have the satin pillowcase and a baseball hat with a satin lining pretty cool. So just subscribe to my channel and then go follow on Instagram at Shara Robeson is my tagline and one lucky winner will be able to try out all three products. And if you don't win, hey, you can just buy it because they're really great prices. It's a really great product. I will link it below and you guys can shop that and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Either click subscribe here or find my face. It should be floating somewhere around here and click it, subscribe because I love subscribers and leave me your comment. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.